In a dynamic, often tumultuous world, one thing remains constant, the magnetic pull of the American dream. Each year, thousands of people make a bold decision to leave their homelands and immigrate to the United States. Many of them find their way to Central Texas. In this program, we'll meet six of these immigrants. Echlas, 34, is from Baghdad, Iraq. When life in her war-torn country became unbearable, she fled to the United States with her husband and three children. Olga, 48, moved to the U.S. from Tulancingo, Mexico, when she was 20 years old, looking for a better life. Now a grandmother, she recently acted on a lifelong dream to learn English and has plans for continuing her education. Vera is from Ekaterinburg, Russia. Vera was a television and theater producer in Russia, where she earned two degrees in the arts. She gave up her career in her homeland to provide a better life for her daughter, who now works as a model in Dallas. Primo, 47, is from Pinar del Rio, Cuba, situated in a region of mountain ranges and tobacco fields. Primo taught mathematics and physics in Cuba before moving to the U.S. with his family. He's studying English and hopes to one day teach again. Rusi, 49, is from the city of Uvira in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. She lived near beautiful Lake Tanganyika until tribal warfare forced her to move to the United States, where she now lives with her six children. Samuel, 27, is from Quetzaltenango, Guatemala. He came to the U.S. to look for work to help his impoverished family. He's learned enough English through a workplace literacy program to tend bar in a popular restaurant. As these immigrants reveal in our program, learning another language as an adult is difficult. It takes a sustained effort that requires both courage and perseverance.